Hello Virgo and welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. I am Lorianne here to give you the messages for this week and we are looking at the sun, moon and rising sign of Virgo and we're going to take a look at love, career, finance, family, whatever comes through is going to come through this reading. So this is a general reading. I'm going to look at your end. I'm going to look at the other side, the opposing side and it could be another person. It could be something else that's going on in your life but you're going to know how it resonates with you and if it doesn't check out your moon and rising sign okay now the message that i'm getting for you guys is really funny virgos this is like i feel like dancing woo dancing it's like i keep hearing it over and over and i was going to do a different sign and i kept the no this is virgo some of you might be getting ready to go out and just kind of live it up and feel like you're living life again. You might be going on a little bit of a, a brief vacation. Whatever it is, could be going to a party, could just be dancing in your own front room alone or with your own little children, right? Um, it's a very positive, very happy vibration. And you just got the Knight of Pentacles, which the Knight of Pentacles... Well, that could be a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn if we're looking at zodiac signs. So that could very well mean you. And that's the sign that I'm looking at right now. There we go. Okay. So with this Knight of Pentacles, you know, that's a very slow moving energy. And, and all of the Knights in the tarot are about forward movement. Anytime you think a horse, you know, a horse just gets going to go. Well, I guess some are, don't. <laughs> I had one that didn't. It just sat there. So we get on that horse and we go, but this particular night is the slowest one in the deck. So it takes a really long time. You might be getting ready to meet or, okay, you could be going out dancing and you're going to meet them. This is a person, I'm going to describe to you the characteristic traits. And Captain Lovebug is underneath the desk. He likes to be here when I work. <laughs> so he moves the camera sometimes. But this is the type of person who's very methodical, and I, and I bet I might even be describing you, because they're very methodical, very organized, very efficient. They're very nurturing, and they do give freely and generously, but they equally give to primarily the right people, people that don't take advantage of them, although there might still be a few in there because it's not the king, right? King has learned a little bit more lessons. But this is balancing your finances. Also, you've got the two of pentacles next to it. And the two of pentacles is the balance. It's uh, when we're looking at finances, you could be pulling from one avenue to pay the other. But because of the overall message that I got when I'm asking about each, each and every one of you, as many of you in this group as I can possibly relate to, this is somebody you might be getting ready to meet because you're learning to balance for your mind, your body, and your soul. You're understanding that in order to be grounded in your home, in order to be the best parent you can be, you've got to get out there and you've got to be a man, be a woman, right? You've got to be you. So there's that lift, that sense of freedom that is like, I feel like dancing. It's like, whoa. It's like, you can't, you can't wait to get out. So either you're meeting somebody new, you might be juggling too, but this for most of you is balancing your work life and balancing you, balancing your life. You've got to have fun. You've got to, you know, work hard, play hard kind of an energy, right? Now we do have the world card on the opposing side and the five of wands. So the five of wands, this is conflict. This can be somebody you're dealing with where they may have some internal conflict about going dancing with you, okay? And it could very well be something as small as that. But also this can represent competition, okay? Now, whatever you're getting ready to do when you feel like dancing, that could be winning the lottery, a big payday coming in, making you happy and joyous, like dancing in your front room, right? Whatever it is, with this world card, you're getting ready to start a new chapter. I feel, Virgo, for you, whatever was blocking you to this success, it's taken a really long time where you've probably been trying to keep yourself financially in balance or in the relationship overall in general, whatever your relationship is with. 
inner conflict about starting a new chapter. So if you're dealing with somebody in your environment, there could have been in the past some inner conflict about starting a new chapter with you, without you, different. Competition is a big one of what I'm getting for you in this group, okay? Competition, and if we win above our competition, we're gonna feel like dancing, right? So I really feel this is very, very positive, and that's energy from the past, but let's see where it's coming, going into over the next week. So you're either gonna come out of this energy or be rolling into this energy, and time is fluid. So when you know we're looking at time frames, you have to remember the world makes changes too. Things change around us. So the time is fluid and most of all, it's up to us. So if you get a reading and somebody gives you a time frame, I'm laughing because somebody, I, I actually gave a reading and I gave a time frame and then they let me know that everything was accurate and they came back and said, but I do need to let you know, I need to point this out. You were wrong on the time frame. You were six days late. And it was like, well, that's awesome. You know, I'll take that. Because <laughs> they were like, yeah, you need to watch that time frame. No, actually, it's because what that person did is they tucked it aside, okay? They used their imagination in the sense that they created. So whatever came through the reading, whatever comes through in your life, you can take this with your imagination and produce it into something absolutely amazing. And what I mean by that is use your imagination, Virgo. You are highly creative and you're also very, um, you're very gifted, spiritually gifted. You have a lot of your psychic gifts. Your energy is really good at tapping into other people's energy. A lot of you Virgos are excellent when it comes to communicating with people and there is a card of communication. So we have the, uh, I forgot what it is. The Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is about getting on your horse and taking action. Whatever was taking forever. If this is you reaching out to a person, it's time for you to take action. If this is somebody coming into you, as soon as you take action, they're going to come forward. And that's what I feel is going to happen for a lot of you. Yeah, and the other card that came out with it is the victory card. So when you get on this horse, it doesn't matter how long it takes. Take that creativity that is inside of you and imagine it and bring it down and take the action and put it into motion. It's going to produce something. It's going to produce this relationship. It's going to, whatever it is, it's going to make you feel like dancing. This is victory. So that's incredible. And I love the way the cards come out, right? So this is a wonderful opportunity for you to begin to change your life, to start a brand new chapter, wiping the slate clean, no matter how long it took, no matter how long it took for the, the finances to come in. Get on your horse and move forward. You've got a person coming in, an apology coming in, the Princess of Pentacles, okay? You've got an opportunity coming in that's gonna make you feel like dancing, whoever this person is, whatever it is. Now, whatever you're dealing with, there's a lot of hysteria around them. I think this person, is, you're gonna mesmerize somebody very, very soon. But this isn't really about that. This is about you taking control and getting on your horse. It doesn't matter how long it took to create the relationship or say the words, I love you, whatever it is that's leading you into victory. You need to get up and take action because right now only you can, can start this new chapter. So the self-sabotaging energy with this five of wands, it's time to release it. If this is a relationship and somebody's coming in with an offer and they're terrified you're going to reject them, take action and accept this offer if you actually do see this as the right opportunity, love or otherwise. Use your imagination. Use your creativity and expansion if it's a business opportunity or even in like a financial investment, right? And when it comes to love, we've got chemistry and worth the weight. So you guys, you've got an incredible opportunity coming in that you're gonna click. If it's a person, you're gonna mesh with them. 
It's going to make you feel like dancing and it was worth the wait. The Knight of Pentacles. Very key element to whatever's going on to you dancing. So if you like me, you like my style, please subscribe, share, and I have a great week. Much love.